Oh, why you love bugs? Take your love vitamin. It's been a minute. I haven't done a, a nosy read. Like, let's see what do your what does your person not want you to know? What do they not want you to know? Oh, goodness. They have regular one night stands. Careless, reckless. They don't feel good enough for you. They don't want you to know this person. They, they feel invalid. A dwarf needing to be in the north. This is a person that has a lot of insecurities. A lot. They deal with self-doubt. I also hear low self-esteem. Look at here. You intimidate them. This is the last thing they want you to know. You, you're too strong. You're too strong-minded. This is why these people can't face you all. Lastly, living a superficial life. This is someone that's accustomed to fakeness. They're accustomed to people pretending to like them. Um, they're accustomed to fake love. They don't know real love. That's why you don't have anything in common. See right here, unauthentic, it's supposed to be inauthentic. This, this person hides and avoids letting you know they're very inauthentic. They're ashamed of themselves, but they hide behind, you know, what they have or try to portray that they have. Always explaining, this is not a solid person. They don't have a backbone. This is someone who's, this is someone who has purposely tried to confuse you, to prevent you from seeing them, discerning them, knowing them for who they are. Definitely. A manipulator, a gaslighter. This person is a low vibration. You know, it's not that they're a bad person. It's just that they've never had anyone in their life that spoke, you know, well of them. They don't have anyone that truly are, you know, authentically and genuinely supports them, believes in them, encourages them. Or for some of you all, they may not have anyone that like genuinely loves them. But look at here. It's this person that does these spells, that does that do this magic regularly you know why because they want you back but this is a big liar let's take a look let's see what else the tarot cards want you to know what else does this person hide holy spirit why why were they trying to confuse a collective why what are they trying to confuse a collective about what do they what do they not want the collective to know what do they not want the collective to know the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone that could have moved. They could have relocated. Um, they Where they live is not where you think they live. This is someone that they give to other people. This Queen of Wands. This is a person that's highly used and abused. Um, this could be someone that um, when they, they could have moved in with someone, they could feel trapped can find I, I don't know why i keep hearing the word miserable this person is miserable wherever they are they're not happy uh it's almost like a person has gotten caught up in a vicious cycle in this vicious cycle is where they've been taken that movie that movie taken <clears throat> flashed before my eyes they've been taken this is a person that has many childhood issues, insecurities, traumas. They watch you all the time to see if you know that they moved. They have another location, another residence. And for some of you all, they live with someone else. What's going on in this Ace of Pentacles? Tell us about this place they moved in. Tell us about this Ace of Pentacles. Yep, the sun card. So for some of you all here, there is someone they they started over. They they have a like another future. They they see something. <laughs> oh my God, I was, I was honey. I was getting ready to say they moved in with someone they saw a brighter future with. No, they moved in with someone that's torturing the hell out of them. That's betraying them. Um, this is someone here that made an arrogant move. Child, look at here. The eight of swords. They are stuck and tied to the devil. Yep. This is a very one-sided connection. This, this person's being tortured. They're being threatened. Your person could be being abused, male or female. Um, there, but whoever this Queen of Wands is, that's their abuser. This is someone here. They don't. This person right here got psychological issues. They don't think well of themselves. In this household is torture. In this household is misery. In this household is one-sidedness. This is a person right here that they could also 
You know, it could not be a permanent residence for some of you all. You know how people pay or afford people to have a lifestyle. For some of you all, they just give to this person or they are obligated. It could be by child. It could be because of, you know, some sort of asset. But this person right here, they are a slave to this other individual, this other cycle, this mindset. They are trapped with the devil. My God, it's King of Wands here. They made a hasty, a very hasty move, and they're living a very horrible life. What's going on with the Six of Cups? What's going on with the Six of Cups here? What's happening with the Six of Cups? What they don't want them to know. So they moved back in with someone that they used to know, um, and they regret it. They regret every damn bit of it. They moved back in. They could have went back to an ex. It could be a friend. And ever since they moved back in with that person, it's been a downward um, spiral. This is someone that cries at night. I hear separate rooms. They could be sleeping in separate rooms. I hear locked doors. Someone here, their doors can be locked. They're afraid. Your person right here seems like they're being tortured. I don't know why, but I keep hearing abuse and I keep hearing the word shelter. So this could be someone who did something out of desperation. They don't want you to know, but... I had to move back in. I couldn't afford to pay where I was living before. You know, I I I, I was desperate. What happened with this? Why, why, why do they have these regrets? They hate this right here, honey. This person is crying a lot. What's what's the uh, five of cups here? What are they um in regrets about? Yep. The ace of swords is because what they thought was they thought things were going to get better. Um, they, this is someone that, you know, what they saw is not what they got. What they planned for is not what happened. You know, their intention was, was for it to be one way and it went another way. They didn't have victory in this particular move. They have regrets. And that's the truth. They're sad. They're depressed. They're emotionally withdrawn. This is someone here. They're not satisfied or they can't satisfy this person. Dang, what's the ace of swords? And no, so many to show them two of cups. What are they hiding about this two of cups? What do they not want them to know about this two of cups? The star card, the two of wands, the nine of swords, the ace of wands, and the seven of pentacles. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Remember that card that came out, Superficial Life? They moved in with this person because they thought they were going to have something very promising, very rewarding. Uh, this was more like a not only just a financial component. This could be someone here. They were homeless. They didn't have much. The, the person they moved in with has a little more. This person offer your, offers your person security. Your person is not as stable as you think they are. They could have also had to move back in with their moms. Um, so For some of you all here, this empress, yep. They're trying to work this relationship out if it's a relationship. They could have moved back in with children. I hear the words medicine. It's like the third time I done heard that word. Um, oh, let me clarify and close this out real quick. What's the, what's, what, what are they stressed out about? What's the nine of swords? This king of cups. This king of cups is stressed but not showing it. So this is someone here that's like, okay, this is going to work, but they're dealing with delays. Somebody also could have moved in with someone. For those of you all in that whole child arena, um, they're trying to protect their children. Lord, have mercy, child. These people are arguing, fussing, and fighting. It's like they moved in and they're living with this person. This person does not respect them. This person talks bad to them, talks bad about them. If this is a man, he is highly emasculated by this other person that he lives with. If this is a woman, she is highly disrespected. This is a person that moved in with someone and even the children don't respect the other adult or parent. That's why this person is miserable. Nobody respects them. Nobody listens to them. This is a person that you think it's like they try to speak their truth. They try to pull rank and have authority, but they can't. But they can't. This, this person is at an all time low, honey. So they're juggling back and forth. They're keeping this a secret because they live at a distance from you now with someone they know from the past that they try to kind of work a situationship out, relationship out. 
and they were hoping and thinking things were going to get good. They did this for the baby. They could have also did it for the marriage. But even though they this was like a baby marriage situation, they 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 could have agreed to do something, and all they got was a ball of confusion. I also heard the word pathetic just now. Someone here feels pathetic, or this is what they call what they're being called pathetic. It's almost like, you know how people alienate you from your family or you know how people make you feel uh, some sort of way that to get you back in. And when they get you back in, they start treating you like shit. That's what's going on here. And your person don't want you to know that. I keep hearing the word abuse. They're being abused. Oh, man. They've been abused, honey. Trust. They thought they could trust that person. They did it. They went now. They came out of the cop closet. This was someone here was trying to do something to have like a leg up to get their career life and home life balanced out. It messed up. Yep. Spiritual law of attraction. So this is someone here. Um, there could be some manifestation or they manifested a new house and or household with someone else. This is a person that's needing to drink more water or drinking more water to kind of clear themselves. This person right here doesn't have peace. They don't have peace. This is a father, a brother, a son. This man, you're seeing the situation correctly. This man made a mistake. And this is a mistake that he realizes that he made. But I don't, I don't see what he sees like he, well, he knows how to clear it up. This could be a marriage for some of you all. And he's trying to get out of it. If not, this could be like a lease. He signed a lease to an apartment, to a home or something like that. Or put something in his name. But every, it's like ever since this person did something, they ever since they went backwards, their life has been going backwards and downwards. You have Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, Taurus, and Leo. Peace and blessing. Great day. Hope this helps, guys. Your person definitely made a bad mistake. They don't want you to know.